Hello again, boys and girls. Q here. It is, what was it, November 5th, November 6th. We still don't have a president, but that's just fine. Here in the U.S. of A. They're working on it. That's all that matters. And what else? What else can I tell you? I'm going to look at a house. We are house hunting find something maybe a little bit bigger than this condo of ours is the plan and it's a gorgeous day and maybe I can even get the angle on the chest camera right and take a little video and get a little ride in who could argue with any of that right So my latest obsession, being the crazy person that I am, is I want a Vanderhall. I want a Vanderhall. I'd love a Carmel, but I'd be very happy to settle for a Venice. And uh, so the only problem is, I don't have $30,000 sitting around. Not just because we're buying a house, but if I spent $30,000 on a toy right now, I think that could be the end of my marriage right there. And I don't want that to end, so... I don't know. At some point... I could see getting a Vanderhall. I have this image of myself out there in the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Dakotas, Texas, big sky country, doing a nice, you know, big cross country trip in a Vanderhall. It just sounds so appealing to me. Throw a knapsack in the passenger seat and just go, you know? I've done it on a motorcycle. I just, I just have this image in my head of being out there in, that, in the middle of nowhere in those enormous landscapes with a, uh, in, the, in a Vanderhall. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Right now, there's something wrong with my helmet because every time I talk, I bite my inner cheeks. So maybe we won't be doing as much talking as sometimes. You're probably be grateful for that. Gorgeous day here. It was supposed to cloud up and rain. And you can see that that has not happened. Why are my brights on? There we go. I do love this little bike so much. You know, if you just want motorcycling, this is your bike right here. If you need uh, touring, of course, other things, you, you, you'd want something else. And, you know, kind of slowly moving towards making this a scrambler. I did finally buy some handlebar risers that fit. I could uh, put those in the description of this video. I'll tell you which ones I got. I could not, everything I bought from Amazon had to go back. It was, you know, misleading description. They all say, oh yeah, fits the CB300R. Wrong. Um, but I did finally find a pair that fit. So that was cool. Very slow here. You know what happens to slow drivers in front of me when I'm on two wheels, don't you? They get past. Oh yes, they do. They get past. I didn't even think to look at my license plate. My license plate 
the you know the pro pro previous owner installed a, a fender eliminator kit, and at some point when I was riding this bike. I compressed the rear suspension to the point where the license plate actually hit the rear tire and it bent in and folded and scuffed up my license plate. It's a mess. So uh, I have to check whether that's still the case or not. I'm just doing this because I can. said for no good shield to tell you the truth. Now, again, going across country and all kinds of weather and, you know, who knows what, I would want to mention. But just uh, cruising around, even a little bit of highway, don't really need it. It's also shocking how much quieter this uh, CB300R sounds to me today than the uh, that that my Valkyrie did yesterday. In both cases, you know, I got earplugs in, I got the same helmet, uh, but I've got the big windshield on the Valkyrie. No windshield here, as you can see. Very interesting. Because this is a much louder bike. I got a very loud little pipe on this guy. But it's a much quieter ride. Go figure. I, that's because most of the noise you hear on a motorcycle is wind noise. The vast majority. Teenager in Utah, Ogden, Utah, my dad came home one day. Well, he didn't come home, they were divorced, but he came over and he had bought a Suzuki TS-185 and 185cc Suzuki. And the two of us would go two, two up touring on that thing, if you can imagine. And his buddy, guy named Jim Christensen, Big Jim Christensen, Big Jim, bought the big 250cc Suzuki. Man, that was a big bike. And here I am on a 300cc single. Love it. 